हेलो फ्रेंड्स अ न्यू वीडियो अ न्यू टॉपिक अ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज रिलेटेड टू द ऑक्सीजन ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड हिमोग्लोबिन सैचुरेशन एंड द टाइटल ऑफ द वीडियो इज 97 परसेंट एंड 97 परसेंट वेरी ऑफन यू विल सी इन द टेक्सट बुक्स दैट in the context of oxygen transport and hemoglobin saturation the figures that are used are the same 97% and 97% so what are these two 97s let's try to figure out this first a uh, first perspective is that of oxygen transport we inspire air and it reaches the alveoli and then the oxygen is going to diffuse into the pulmonary blood now from here on the oxygenated blood will be carried up to the tissues how is this transport occurring so out of the total oxygen that is being transported in the arterial blood 97% will enter the rbcs it will combine with hemoglobin and will be transported to the tissues the remaining 3% will be uh, it won't enter the rbcs this oxygen from the alveolus will diffuse into the pulmonary capillary blood but it will remain free it will remain free in the plasma it will dissolve in the plasma water and will be transported so let's write it here so far as the oxygen transport is concerned there are two forms in which the oxygen is transported uh one combines with hemoglobin and is carried and the second one does not combine with anything remains free dissolves in the plasma water and is carried so dissolved in plasma how much is this uh, fraction i mean how is this distribution 97% of the total oxygen transport occurs inside the rbcs in combination with hemoglobin and only 3% remains free in the plasma and is transported so that's the first 97% let's take an example just an analogy if there are 100 people who are to be transported somewhere 97 of them they will board a bus and will be transported and the remaining 3 people uh, will be transported in some small auto or small cab or something so that's about the 100 people to be transported at some destination and that was the division 97 and 3 now coming to the second aspect the second 97 is the perspective of hemoglobin look we are saying that oxygen diffuses into the rbc and is combined with hemoglobin now we are looking only and only at this particular oxygen which is being transported by hemoglobin so now the perspective is that of hemoglobin let's say a uh, hemoglobin is like a bus forget about the previous example now i am taking a new example okay let's say hemoglobin is like a, a big bus uh, it's it transports people and it has got seating capacity of 100 it has got 100 seats but three seats in the last row are broken i mean uh, that means this bus can maximally take only up to 97 people to be transported the three seats are broken and therefore only 97 maximally maximally this bus can fill up to 97 people and not 100 though the capacity was of 100 but three seats cannot uh, accommodate three people so that means uh, 97 people can be maximally transported in this particular bus now apply that example here uh, hemoglobin when it takes up the oxygen when oxygen combines with hemoglobin inside the rbcs the hemoglobin would never get 100% saturated with oxygen 
maximum saturation of hemoglobin can be only up to 97 percent. This is the second 97 that we are looking at. So, the perspective now is that of hemoglobin. When hemoglobin transports this oxygen, the maximum saturation of hemoglobin can be only up to 97 percent. Now, why is that? Because those three broken seats in the bus are in the form of methemoglobin, sulfhemoglobin. What I am trying to say here is there are some forms of hemoglobin. Look, there is certain amount of hemoglobin in our blood. There are some forms of hemoglobin like these. They cannot take up oxygen. They cannot carry oxygen. Oxygen cannot combine with them and uh, get transported. So, uh, roughly these forms will constitute about 3 percent hemoglobin. Whatever hemoglobin is present, suppose uh, there are 100 uh, molecules of hemoglobin, out of that 3 would be in this form. They will not carry oxygen, broken seats and therefore, the remaining hemoglobin will carry, I mean take up the oxygen and carries the oxygen and therefore, we are saying maximum uh, saturation of hemoglobin. We are saying maximum, okay, it can be less than that. Uh, sometimes hemoglobin saturation falls in certain diseases, it becomes 70 percent, 60 percent. So, that happens, but maximum saturation of hemoglobin can be only like the, uh, the bus, uh, it has got maximum seating capacity of 100, but 3 are broken. So, remaining 97 can carry 97 people. But it is not necessary that all the time it will carry the maximum number 97. Sometimes the saturation can be less. So, similarly here maximum saturation of hemoglobin can be up to 97 percent. That is the second 97 percent that we are looking at. Okay. Uh, let us have a final point oxygen carrying capacity of hemoglobin or oxygen carrying capacity of blood. Uh, look. We talk about hemoglobin in terms of grams percent. You know, hemoglobin measured as measured as grams percent. Every one gram of hemoglobin, uh, if it is hundred percent saturated, if it was to get hundred percent saturated, hypothetically, then it could have carried one point three nine mL of oxygen. Now, we are looking at the oxygen carrying capacity overall, total capacity. So, every 1 gram of hemoglobin, if the hemoglobin were to get 100 percent saturated, it could have carried 1.39 ml of oxygen. But as we said, max saturation of hemoglobin can be only up to 97 percent and therefore, uh, every 1 gram of hemoglobin when it is fully saturated, fully means maximum possible saturation. In that case, it will carry 1.34 ml of oxygen, all right, with 97 percent saturation. So, this is how you calculate oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. Suppose a person has 10 grams percent of hemoglobin. Uh, then and if there is saturation is complete, hemoglobin is completely saturated, then see if uh, 1 gram of hemoglobin when fully saturated can carry 1.34 ml of oxygen, then 10 grams of hemoglobin will carry 10 into 1.34 ml. That much oxygen will be carried by 100 ml of arterial blood and that is called as oxygen carrying capacity of blood. So, that is the second 97 percent. Uh, now, last question, many of you might have used pulse oximeters, especially uh, ever since the corona uh, pandemic started. Uh, every household has that uh, pulse oximeter and many of you might have been asking this question that sometimes you will see 98 percent saturation or even 99 percent saturation. How is that possible? I am sure you have this question in your mind. Now, look, when we are saying that hemoglobin maximally can be saturated up to 97 percent 
the assumption is remaining 3 percent hemoglobin is in these forms okay and therefore oxygen does not combine with these forms and is not transported when you say in the pulse oximeter you saw 98 percent saturation or 99 percent saturation what would that mean think over this it would mean that the remaining forms these forms are only up to let us say 1 percent or 2 percent of the total hemoglobin in the arterial blood methemoglobin self hemoglobin is only to uh, let us say 2 percent and the other for other hemoglobin remaining hemoglobin is 98 percent then it is going to be completely saturated that remaining hemoglobin and you will see that the saturation is 98 percent or if this these forms are only 1 percent then they will not carry oxygen and saturation you will say is 99 percent the remaining hemoglobin is uh, very well carrying oxygen uh, so that is uh, the that is why you can see 98 percent or 99 percent saturation but generally speaking it is 97 percent is the hemoglobin that can carry oxygen and 3 percent is in these forms which does not carry oxygen and that is where that second 97 percent uh, lies. So, that is uh, a short video related to the oxygen transport and hemoglobin saturation, but the main uh, understanding point was first 97 was the perspective of oxygen and its transport and the second perspective was of hemoglobin, how hemoglobin is going to carry the oxygen that combines with it.